Oh my gosh. Good lord, it's cold. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me on this extra cold day out here. Behind me, I have the Ford F-150. And unfortunately, no, we aren't installing anything new today. In fact, I wanted to show you guys a couple of the cheaper end mods that I bought for the F-150 that personally I think are worth looking at if you're looking to start modding your truck or if you just want to find some extra bits for it. Now, I'm going to try and stay under the $150 budget uh, in terms of the parts that I'm going to name. Uh, I think the most expensive thing that I'm going to call out is probably $140. Uh, but like I said, guys, I'm going to try to keep it under $150. Alright, so we'll go ahead and start over here in the front suspension. Now, what I have here is the Rough Country 2-inch leveling kit. Basically, they are strut extensions to level the front of the truck. Normally, these trucks have a rake from the factory where basically the rear is sitting slightly taller than the front. And if you don't really like that rake, which personally I didn't, a leveling kit would be a good solution for that problem if you don't care about fuel economy. Now this kit ran me at about $100. Now that might have changed. I haven't really checked lately, but I think it's a good first starting mod to give the truck a much nicer appearance. So while we're down here and on the subject of wheels and suspension, the next mod I wanted to talk about guys was Coyote's half inch wheel spacers. Now I know wheel spacers are somewhat of a touchy subject, but I think as long as you don't want a stupid dumb long spacer for your vehicle, then you should be good. And also just to make sure that whatever spacer you're buying, that the material is heavy duty and not some sort of cheap, crappy spacer. I've had these on for about four months, five months now, and I haven't had any issues. The steering hasn't changed, the wheel, there's no wheel wobble or anything like that. Now before the wheel spacers were put on, the wheels were tucked in in the fenders, which I really didn't like. After I put on the wheel spacers, the wheels were flush with the fenders and it gave the truck a much beefier look. So this is what I'm referring to guys. See how with the spacer the wheel lines up with the fender, sort of has a flush look. Same goes for the rear as well, if I can get that in focus. It just makes the truck look that much beefier when the wheels are nice and flush. Oh yeah, so much better. So much better than before. Alright guys, so here is the kicker with those spacers. They cost me $30, including shipping and the handling. So I know, I know, I know, that price is slightly concerning for something that's the connection between the ground and the machine you're operating. But hear me out, I double checked the construction of these things. They're a heavy duty aluminum billet, or however you want to say it. But not only that, I checked all the reviews and they're all positive, no issues there. So I decided to pull the trigger on these things and as of now, I haven't had any issues. Zero. Zip. Worst case scenario, they break and I lose a wheel and die. Anyway, those spacers are entirely up to you if you want to get them. I know, spacers, mm, touchy subject, yeah, eh, cheap, crappy, death. I haven't had any issues with them. $30, can't beat that, and it gives the trucks a much beefier appearance. So, Next up, I'm going to quickly run through this one because I think it's on every single truck uh, that I've seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tailgate assist, you know, every truck's got them. All right, whatever. Now, if you want to know what this is, this is a DZ tailgate assist. These are like $30, I think, $25 around there, depending on where you get them. Uh, obviously, you can go for the Ford OEM one, which gives the truck a much sleeker look. You won't have this ugly strut in the way, but you know what? It's cheaper, it does the job, and I don't think anything's going to really interfere with this. So, Next up, guys, we have the LED cargo lights. These things make a huge difference. They're a lot brighter at night. I wish it was nighttime, but uh, it's not. So These things are super cheap. I think they're like $11 for the pair, and it's super easy to get access to these. It's just removing these four and then you can pry this right out and you'll have access to them. You can kind of see the LED in there. But I think a great cheap add-on, 12 bucks, super easy, gives the truck a much, much more aggressive look too at night. Yeah, the ultimate mod, guys. All right, next up, guys, are the side steps here. Now these, I made a video of these a long time ago. This is probably the first mod that I ever did to the truck. They are from eBay. I forgot the name, but I'll definitely link all the stuff. And this was at about $120. 
and look at that guys it's still working apart from some some of the uh, finish is starting to get chipped and the paint did fade away because it was super glossy before but that's okay it gives it that matte look and I like it rugged awesome still working had this thing for like a year now and it's straight apart from just some flaking Eh, minor wear and tear but very good add-on a lot better than the factory ones and fairly cheap too all right moving on to the last bit guys here in the interior we'll go ahead and pop in and I'll show you the last bit that I think is worth it for the truck all right last on the list ladies and gentlemen are these beautiful cover trim pieces for the f-150 now they come in different options different finishes i opted out for the black wood grain which i think is nice they also have the regular wood grain and then they also have carbon fiber which i was this close to getting carbon fiber but eh, carbon fiber truck nah doesn't really work out this is much nicer it gives the truck a much more refined look and it's not expensive too but it makes your truck look expensive so it's a win-win all around. Now, you'll see that I have it for the steering wheel. I also have it for the gauge cluster hood. You kind of see it goes over here, goes on the opposite side as well, and then one in the middle. That was a little tough to put on, but it's in there. And then I also went for the door handles, which make it look so much nicer. It comes for all four. We'll go back here too. Look at that, can you see that? There you go, that's a little bit better. That's better. Now, I like these trim covers so much that I actually ended up buying some more for the truck. The ones that I bought were for the window selector, right over here. So it's so, sort of like a face plate that covers up this. And then for the vents as well, goes around here and for the passenger side. Now, they do have a bunch for your, you know, the whole infotainment system here. You got covers and whatnot, but it's kind of hard to look for an XL version uh, since I have a jump seat. Others have the actual center console, so it's kind of a eh, little hard to look for mine, but I think a very good investment. Just be sure to buy piece by piece because if you buy it at a leap, just like I did, then you know it stacks up and it hurts your wallet. That is going to do it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed that, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Going back to it, I think the mods that I listed are a very good start if you just got your F-150. If you're just like me, starting out in a vanilla, very basic stock XL, those mods will definitely spruce up the truck. I will leave the links in the description down below to all the stuff that I just named in this video. So be sure to check all that stuff out, guys. Remember to like, comment, and share. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace and... Take care.